every time you guys come here on Saturday, you guys are actually here to do work. You're working. You're coming here to do work. You're reporting to work. So yes, you're working. So you can say with confidence, listen, I've had your experience. I worked at um, wherever you work. Simple. They'll just overlook it. Oh, really? You do? Okay. Then they'll, start, then, they'll get, then they'll get to business. They don't care about all that, all the minutia. If you're answering the questions the right way, then you're telling them, hey, they actually have to back up a database, which we'll learn. You know, how to, how to audit somebody. You know, how to, what's the do table, all that, blah, 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 SQL. Oh, okay, how much do you want? That's simple. Stop overthinking it, guys. Don't stop overthinking it. Stop wrapping your head around this thing. You just, just go get a fucking job already. It's really that simple. Just go get a job already. Like I told you guys, you see how quickly it happened for Traquan? I'm telling you guys, it might take you guys 29 times for 29 interviews. That's what I think. 29 interviews. But obviously, as you can see, it doesn't take 29 interviews. Obviously. But I want you to have that mindset. And I don't want you to think because that's the way it happened for Trick it's going to happen for you, like that for you. It could happen even faster for you. It happened for me. My first, my first interview, first, first phone call, I don't think anybody in history has ever gotten a job faster than me. Nobody. I don't know why. It just happened. Maybe I'm just lucky, like I said before. But don't think it's going to happen like it could. I don't know. So at the very extreme is me. At the other extreme is 29 interviews before you get your, front, your, your first job. And I mean interviews where you're talking to somebody. Not just I sent my resume out 29 times. No, no, no. You talk to somebody 29 times before you find your first job. Anywhere in between is fair game. When you go home to do your work, what do you think, this, what do you think that is? You think that's games too? No, you don't work. You don't work. All these projects, what do you think they represent? Five years worth of experience. Well, you, I keep, why you got, why you guys think I, I keep telling you, do your projects? So when you're sitting in front of somebody like me, who's a DBA, you can sit there confidently and boldly and say, yes, I've done the work. I deserve to sit in, in front of you. People can smell that, man. But if you haven't done your project and you sit in front of a DBA, and you know, even you, you know, I don't deserve to be in front of this guy. You know, you know, you know. And they can smell that too. That's why you've got to do, you've got to do the work. Got to do the work. If you don't do the work, you just came here, ah, uh-uh, bro. No, you got to do the work, bro. Don't cheat yourself. Or else you won't be able to keep that job. You understand? You just won't. So, Mr. Little John, you hear it for yourself, right? Look at him swing back and forth. Huh? <laughs> Ready to get that money. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. 135,000, Mr. Traquan. You're how old? 20... 21. Mm-hmm. Definitely both of you need to take the rack class. Both of you. Yeah, yeah. Talk so to what we get a, like, Mr. Traquan, if you get a... He got the interview. Yes. I mean, he got the job offer for 132. And then just say... That, you don't take him. that. You don't take that job. What happened? Don't take that job. Wait, what did he say, though? Don't take the sis admin job. He's right, talking right, about yeah, the sis admin yeah, yeah. job. Don't take that job. Don't take that job. No, no, no. I, no, no. Don't take that one. I don't care how much money they give you. Don't take that job. But go ahead. <laughs> nah, but uh, let's say he get a job offer. He was talking about he was leaning towards the one that pays 120. Yeah. Let's say he does the, uh, the advanced class with the rag and that yeah. Could he come back to that same job and say he has experience doing that and ask for more? Ask for more money. You can negotiate that before you get in. You can tell them that, look, what do you give me? How much money do you give me for extra certifications? Negotiate all that shit before you get in. Before. Not after. Before you get the job. And they're still not paying you the money? Find another job. Give yourself a pay raise. While you're working, get another job. Look, I'm making 120. I want 150. Give yourself a $30,000 raise. Be out. Peace. That simple, bro. Did I answer your question? I'm telling you. Well, now that you know that the whole thing works, guys, stop doubting. 
Probably, yes, Mr. Price. Tell me. Um, what do you think you should ask for for OCA versus OCP? Like, if you get open. I mean, he's got an OCA. He asked for what, 150? I was just bold. Like, I, was, I, I had the same questions to myself, but I was like, just, Look, man, just, just ask for just money, ask man. So you haven't taken just ask for money. Yes no, just ask for money, man. Uh, I was thinking that you guys should ask for like 135 But he asked for 150 Both. Freaking guy. Look at him. 21 freaking years old. Dang. I'm telling you, if you guys are focused, <laughs> if you guys are focused, focused, focused. In the next five years, you guys can do major damage. So you, I have a question. Tell me, Trina. Tell me. So, tell me. So I get like a job, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get one because I'm starting to need my job. So, I go ahead and apply for a job. Yes. Job, Speak up, please. And then I take rap, right? Yes. Later. Take it now. Later. Now. <laughs> I take crack. Now. And then what if I'm already in a job and then I take it? You take crack now. Just apply somewhere else. And they won't give you a raise after but you take the crack. But that's what I'm about to say. But can, but they, if I ask for a raise, they give you one? Won't they give, give you one. one. No, they won't. You already started. They won't give you one. Before. That's the reason why I'm saying you take crack before. They're not for the money. They're not for really for the money. Care for the money. The point is, while you're hot, stay hot. You need more negotiating power. You understand? You need you need to beef your stuff up. You need to you do like my mentor would say. You need to puff up that fucking company like a show dog. You need to puff it up like a show dog. And when you get in front of him and you get ready to sell yourself. Fuck. He's got this, that, that. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got to give him some money. He's, this dude's not messing around. Got to puff it up like a show dog. I keep trying to tell you guys, just do what I ask you to do. They won't do what I ask them to do. Okay. They won't do what I ask them to do. I'm trying to tell you. How does, how does Rock and Data Guard play into UBS? <laughs> Rock and Data Guard? That's another level, bro. You know Rack and Data Guard? That's another it's level. Sexy. It's just, it just, I mean, because not a lot of people know how to do Rack and Data Guard. As a matter of fact, I tell you this, not a lot of people know how to configure Rack and Data Guard from scratch like I can. They just can't. They can't explain it to you deeply like I can. One thing I'm going to tell you is this. Invest in yourselves, man. Invest in yourselves. You can't go wrong. You come through me, can't go wrong. I'm very, 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 I'm very encouraged by this class. By this class. Very encouraged. Because you guys are actually doing the work and you guys are actually doing what I asked you to do. For those of you who have not started applying, by the end of next week, after you finish your project six, start applying. By the end of this week, start applying. Don't wait. Listen, let me say it like this. If you can do project one through eight, listen, everybody listen to me. If you can do project one through eight, you are just. If you can do project one through eight, no problem. You are just. You are justified in front of everyone. No problem. If you can do project one, you can do what? Oh, no, no, no. You are justified. Definite. Now, if you add on top of that rack, you can do rack. Oh, forget about it. Forget about it. And data guard. Forget about it.